Hey YouTube, DRS2100 here. Uh, just a quick update on my uh, micro Tesla turbine engine. Uh, trying to get it to be a little more efficient on the 30 PSI. Uh, so what I did was I actually removed one bearing. Right, so that guy's there. Pulled all those rears out of there. Um, and I also removed one of the rotors. Uh, so I actually uh, cut that off and refaced it. So it's actually a four rotor system now. Um, make it a little bit lighter. Uh, I removed the uh, magnetic coupler on the rear that I was using to, uh, uh, you know, hook up a generator, uh, just to make it even lighter still. Um, but yeah, let's uh, see how it goes. I don't have a tack, unfortunately, but I mean, it should be faster. Okay. Audibly, you can tell it's definitely running a lot quicker than it used to. Still accelerating. So I think I might pick up a tack, uh, one of those uh, laser tacks, just to see how fast it's uh, actually going. I'm guessing it's probably around 35,000 or 50,000, somewhere around there. Same uh, 30 PSI. I've got it hooked up on this little jury rig to my vice here. The little micro compressor. Yeah. I mean, at least according to that, it's 30 PSI. I don't know if it's actually 30 PSI, but it's producing a lot of torque. I don't want to get my finger in it because uh, I tried that once and I actually uh, burned my finger. the air pressure off now, see how long post for. But it definitely coasts a lot longer too. You can hear those imperfections in the bearings nonetheless. But yeah, so that's all there is to it. Uh, just for consistency, I'm going to fire it up again and see if it performs the same way. And this bearing doesn't really get all that hot. Just because the bypass there from the rear exhaust is actually cooling the bearing surface. And that lower exhaust portion of the rear isn't actually covered either. It looks like it's covered, but it's not. change in performance there, good or bad. I know sometimes
times with these little engines when you shut them off, things change and they don't perform as well the next time, but this one seems to be a gutter. So the next thing is to get my jewel ringer circuit going and uh, see if I can get more voltage out of it this time with this increased performance. And I'm not sure how the uh, load from the generator is going to affect it, but that'll probably be my next video. So yeah, again, you know, uh, I might, uh, when I have a little bit more time this winter, uh, show you how to make this thing from, uh, from castings and that. Or I could show you how to make it out of a bicycle hub, that's another way to do it. You don't have to actually cast the body, you can actually just machine it right from a single bicycle hub. In this case I actually cast an ingot and then, uh, or a rod rather, and then uh, just turned it out on the lathe, but I don't see why you couldn't just do it with a straight bike hub. Anyway, my uh, update, thank you.